We also have some really good high school hockey tonight. Sectionals progressing in both divisions, and for at least one squad, they're primed to win a title. That squad's the Division I second-seeded Black Knights of RFA. They hosted Baldwinsville tonight, trying to advance to the semifinals. A Baldwinsville team that needed some dramatics to get past eighth-seeded Fayetteville Manlius in the first round, scoring the game-tying goal with under 10 seconds to play, and then winning it in the extra frame. These two played twice in the regular season, with RFA escaping with victories in both 3-1 and 4-2. So it's the Black Knights and the Bees, both trying to get a playoff win and go to the semis. RFA freshman net miner Dante Sparace doing the best Marty or Poulter impression that he has. The primary goalie for the number 15 in the state RFA Black Knights this year. Lots of saves, including that glove save that he holds on to. Zeros on both sides through one period of play. In the second, the long shot comes from Luke Hag, and it's saved when the puck escapes to the far corner. Tyler Locker grabs it, tries to get a pass across to a wide open Jacob Bruno for the tap in, but it goes off the inside of the leg pad of the Beeville goalie, and RFA takes the lead with 11.9 seconds left in the period. And as we move to the third, it's the Black Knights once again. Just a lot of bodies in front. Puck thrown on, and the save is made cleanly but kicked in by Baldwinsville defenseman Skate. Goal credited to Braden Meeks as the last man to touch it. Credit to Logan Waterman, who was in front, forcing the D-man into the crease there. The Bees do score late in the third, but it's too little, too late. 2-1 Two the final score as RFA moves on. The only other D1 game tonight between Watertown, IHC, and Casanova. Watertown winning that 3-2, and that's an upset. The 6 over the 3, so we still don't know who RFA draws in their semifinal game. A lot of that depending on if Mohawk Valley can continue their Cinderella run with a huge upset win over first seeded number five in the state, West Genesee, tomorrow.